Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's me Hannah and thank you so much for being here. So today what I wanted to do guys is a collective haul but then also a what I got for my birthday and then also a, a primer haul and a new bits I've been buying and all that sort of jazz. So I don't really know what I'm going to be calling this video or what this video really is. All I know is that it's got a lot of new things. It has some Primark bits. It has some gifts that I've been given for my birthday. So my birthday was on November the 4th um, and this video is coming out a little bit later than that but I have been collecting different things from the 1st of November up until today. Um, so I got given a lot of gorgeous gifts for my birthday um, which I'm going to share with you guys now this is in no way bragging and all that type of stuff that every youtuber gives as a disclaimer i just wanted to share with you what i got and uh, just in case you want to buy something similar i also wanted to show you a couple of the bits that i bought for myself from primark just before lockdown and then stuff that i've been buying off asos and um, other websites as well as a birthday treat to me um so because we have moved into a brand new house um it's been really kind of restrictive I want to say in terms of like my spending has been restricted quite a lot and I have been spending money on bits for the house or new bedding, fitted wardrobes etc, a carpet, flooring, everything. So I've not really been buying myself a lot of bits um, but luckily this month because it's birthday month um, I thought I would treat myself to some gorgeous gorgeous items so I'm going to share that with you today. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up it really really helps me out and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Am I looking extra Christmassy today guys? I'm so excited for Christmas. I'm going to be putting a little Christmas tree up in this little kind of alcove in my wardrobe which I can't wait for um, but what I'll do is I will start with the Primark stuff because I know you guys love Primark hauls so I'll start with the Primark stuff. I will start with kind of the bits that I bought for myself and then I'll go on to um, bits that other people got me for my birthday. Now the first thing that I got from Primark isn't actually a gift to me. It is a gift for somebody else for Christmas. So this is for my mother-in-law um, towards her Christmas gifts. Um, so um, it is a scarf and hat set um, and this is the scarf that I bought her from Primark. It has little beads on it and diamantes on it. It's a really really good quality scarf as well. I think this was six pounds from Primark um, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, but yeah I do really really like this and I think she'll really like it. And with that I got the matching beanie which was four pounds from Primark as you can see. Um, we've still got the tags on there. I need to take off the prices. Um, but this has also got gems and um, pearls all over it. So this is the only item that I didn't get for myself um, and that is for my mother-in-law towards her Christmas gifts. Okay guys, so getting into the bits that I have got for Christmas, um, for Christmas, for my birthday I mean, from Primark, um, we will start with the clothing pieces. Oh, I've got such a big bag. Um, so the first item is a jumper. Now I saw this on the mannequin and I just thought it looked really, really cosy and comfy. It is a high neck ribbed white jumper. I got this in a size 2XL. It has a, ba um, sorry, a dropped sleeve or dropped shoulder sorry and um, like a really uh, cosy cuffed sleeve now this jumper material is really really cosy and again it's so Christmassy whites and reds and greens so Christmassy um, but yeah it's just basically a bog standard ribbed jumper it is baggy so that makes it look really really comfortable and cosy um, a lot of room in there for my stomach um, and yeah I think this was around 10 pounds let me just double check Oh, it was £8, so I got it in a 2XL as I mentioned, but that was £8 from Primark. So that is my first little treat to myself. Next I have, oh, that's not from Primark. Next I have a belt. So I saw this and I can never get extra large belts from Primark. I feel like all the extra large people grab the belts as soon as they see them um, and I'm not surprised because this is the belt that I bought it was six pounds and it is a razzle dazzle gorgeous um diamonded belt and this just for Christmas on top of a satin slip dress or something you're gonna look super super um sexy and just really really nice and guys I'm like a magpie anything that is shiny I will go towards it and that was six pounds from Primark as well 
Next, I just have some basics or so some vests and stuff. I'm not even going to go through that, guys. You know what vests look like. They're not interesting. Um, I have some accessories from Primark as well. So the... Um, oh. Oh. These socks are stuck to an accessory that I bought. Great. Bought some socks, seven pairs for £2.50 or for £2 trainer socks. Gorgeous. Um, so I bought myself some accessories. Now I really, really wanted these and I thought in my birthday month I'm going to treat myself to a couple of headbands because I just think they look super Christmassy and super festive. So this is the first one I got. Let me just see if you can see that. Um, it is velvet with some diamantes on it, gold and silver diamantes, and I got that for three pounds. Then I also decided to get this one, which I thought was super different. And I had like a nudie outfit on the day. So when I tried this on, it just went with the nude outfit that I had on, so I had to buy it. And it was five pounds, and you can see how gorgeous those jewels and gems are on that um, headband and that was five pounds from Primark and then I also got myself this one which is kind of tiered in terms of it has more than one layer um, and it's full of stars and diamantes again like I said I'm a magpie and this one was also three pounds from Primark or four pounds maybe from Primark so um, I got myself a couple of headbands plus this one is so Christmassy guys so I'm so into Christmas I know it's only November um, I know it's only November, but I'm just so into it. I'm so into it. Um, so that's what I got from Primark. And then something else I want to show you that I got, um, and this is not from Primark, but I bought them for myself, is a pair of pleather um, leggings. Not pleather leggings, what am I saying? These PVC leggings. Now, I know they look like dominatrixie, but honestly, they are so comfortable. I got them from F&F &F at Tesco, and they are a normal uh, legging material on the back, which makes them super, super comfortable. So they are PVC on the front, legging on the back. These were, I think, £12.50. Absolutely fantastic. And I would suggest um, getting your normal size. I went a size up because of my belly needing extra room, but um, they just fit beautifully. Um, and I just think this on a night out or something, obviously you can't go on any nights out now, it's COVID central, honey, but um, PVC never goes out of style. And you could kind of dress it up for day. I feel like maybe these PVC leggings with that white ribbed jumper from Primark just gives you a cozy but also elevated look so uh, PVC leggings girl we're gonna look like we're wearing a bin bag um, but those are from FNF at Tesco's so um continuing with stuff that I bought myself I got myself some boots from ASOS um now these are the Robbie chunky boots now I have been wanting these boots since I saw them on ASOS and they went out of stock in two days so I've been waiting for them to come back into stock and they finally came back into stock and this is what they look like so we love the chunky boot trend but I wanted something like chunky but not too chunky I don't know how to explain it I feel like the cleated sole boots the cleated sole is like either too much or it's kind of too straight and this one is not either like the cleated sole is just cleated enough to know that it's cleated but it has kind of a heel as well so it doesn't give me that straight look at the bottom of my foot and um, it has an elasticated kind of ankle um, and it kind of basically is like your standard but elevated Chelsea boot but these are the Robbie boots from ASOS and they were £30. They are really really comfortable although it does feel like I've got bricks on my feet when I'm wearing them and I can't actually see where I'm walking when I'm walking down the steps in those boots so you've got to be a little bit careful um, and the first time I wore them I felt like I was lugging around bricks on my foot um, but now that they've broken in and now they are so comfortable it still feels like that, but I can get used to it. Then I have two dresses to show you guys from ASOS as well. So this is from the ASOS Curve section. Um, am I holding it upside down? What am I doing? No, I'm not. Um, so this is from the ASOS Curve section. It is a wrap over midi dress, so you can see it is a wrap style. It has a tie up at the back, so it has a very, very low back, guys. But again, I don't mind it having a low back. Um, you can wear it either way. You can wear it, you know... Um, as this being the front or the tie being the front it's up to you um, but it's absolutely gorgeous it's just a plain black one and I think with that um that diamond belt from Primark it's just gonna look so nice um, it has 
three quarter ish no half sleeve i'd say with an elasticated cuff but it's really really comfortable my belly looks great in it um and it was around 20 pounds on sale from the asos care section so if i can find the link i'll leave it in the description for you so that you guys can get your hands on that as well i also got this dress which you may have seen if you follow my instagram it's from wednesday's girl so it's still on asos um or from asos rather but it's this nude spotty print dress um, I keep seeing green spots because I've got a light behind me. I keep seeing green spots every time I blink. Is that bad? Um, but it's this nude spotty print dress. It is a midi dress again. It smells gorgeous. Um, but it's got short sleeves. I've wore this twice now since I bought it. I only bought it about a week and a half ago. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. Really, really comfortable. This with a Robbie boots from ASOS looks so stylish. Um, and I've also kind of dressed it up by wearing it with a sandal and like a cropped blazer. And it just looks really, really nice. Um, and that was around £30 from ASOS from Wednesday's Girl. I always get things when they're on 20% off on ASOS because... They are doing so many 20% off at the moment. So yeah, I'm just really, really pleased with that as well. So it looks absolutely gorgeous and really, really flattering. So continuing with the theme of things that I bought for myself as a treat for my birthday before I get onto things that other people got me, I bought myself an Elemis gift set. Your girl has been loving Elemis recently. I bought the Look Fantastic Advent Calendar and I got an Elemis um, Overnight Matrix Cream in that. Or oxygen no no i didn't get the overnight matrix i got the oxygenating night cream in that and i've been using that every single night and i've noticed such a big improvement in my skin in terms of i've been getting very very dry skin throughout this pregnancy and elemis just feels like a spa on my face so i thought i was going to treat myself and this box basically came up on qvc they're doing a deal now where it's 180 pounds worth of products for 51 pounds and i nabbed up that deal straight away i told my girl riley about it i told everyone in instagram about it because uh, it was just such a great deal and within this box you get so many good things so i will show you what i bought um so in this box you get and this is my ultimate birthday treat to myself um i got a pro collagen marine cream now the reason that i bought this box was because this cream um i got a small sample of it in my look fantastic beauty box and then i bought the advent calendar because it had the overnight cream in it um so I got a 30 ml marine cream. I got a, this is the Neroli set by the way, a Neroli cleansing balm, which is absolutely gorgeous. I've used it already. You get a um, papaya enzyme cream, peel, uh, hand and nail cream, a really small, oh guys, I'm trying, I'm trying my best. You get a really small kind of eye collagen revive eye mask, a bath milk, a body lotion and then this which is awesome which is the ginseng um toner so so many different items in there specifically for these two i bought this box so bear in mind i paid 51 pounds for this box um i actually got five pounds off because it's my first time ordering from qvc um off their website anyway so uh, i paid 51 pounds for that now two days before i'd ordered that i already ordered these for myself from the elemis website um as a gift or a birthday treat for myself so i got the pro collagen marine cream marine cream 30 ml for i think this is about 40 five pounds and then i got the pro collagen cleansing balm in the original from the elemis website for 44 pounds so i've already spent like 90 pounds on these and then i bought that with all of the stuff in it plus one of these plus an aroli cleansing balm for 51 pounds i was gutted but i bought all of them and i just thought i'm gonna use them up i'm really taking care of my skin at the moment and elemis just makes me feel rich and bougie um <laughs> so if you are interested go check out the qvc website for one of those sets um there is a rose set that i really want i don't really like rose the smell of rose but it apparently it's not artificial rose smell it's like a florally fruity scent so i might actually treat myself to that as well um but we'll see if your girl can afford it or not Anyways, we'll get on to the things that I got from my husband, my family, my friends. Um, I can't show everything because first of all, I've eaten some of the things. I'm using some of the things. Um, so I can't actually show you everything. But uh, this is just kind of, you know, obviously, if you don't want to watch this part of the video, you don't have to. But if you want to see what I got, then uh, please keep watching and we'll get into it. So one of the first things is this pair of earrings right here. Let me see if I can zoom in. So this pair of pearl um 
pearl and gold earrings. I think he got these from Goldsmiths, um, but it's real pearl and real gold. Um, and they are so super, super sweet. I really like them. Um, but I asked him for a pair of earrings for my birthday and he chose some super cute ones out. So, um, such a sweetheart. He got me such nice gifts. Um, so the next gift that he got me was, oh, oh my gosh was this. Now, I think, I believe he got this from Etsy. Um, it has my initials on right there, or what my initials are going to be once we have been registered. So, me and my husband um, are married in Islamic law, but in English law, we are not married yet, and that is going to happen. It's just with this coronavirus, they're not taking any extra bookings or anything. It's super annoying, but he got me um, this, which I think is so nice. It's a jewelry box, and it says, Meminio on the back with a little elephant on it. I don't know if you can see that. And it is a musical um, jewelry box as well. So let me just wind it for you. It's giving me total nostalgia vibes, but when I open it, so cute guys. <laughs> it's got a little ballerina in it. You can see I've added just a little bit of jewelry in there, like the tiniest amount. Um, but I need to kind of sort my jewellery out and put like my best jewellery in here. But this is so, so nice. And I just thought it was really, really thoughtful of him to get me this. Um, he also got me, and I'll show you actually, he got me a tripod for my camera and then the lighting that I've got behind me, which you might be able to see in the mirror. So there's my tripod. And the lighting is, let me find it, let me find it. Where is it? There you go. You can see that in the mirror right there. <laughs> He got me some uh, lighting for my videos, so that's really, really helpful um, and it's such a sweet gift. My husband also got me some other bits. Let me get them out and show you. I've just had to turn the radiator off because I'm boiling up, guys. Um, so he also got me a 100ml Paco Rabanne Olympia perfume. Smells beautiful. I love florally fruity scents. Um, so he got me this perfume and then he also totally spoiled me this year, got me the original OG Britney Spears Fantasy, which is one of my absolute favourite, favourite perfumes. This is 100ml as well. Um, and I just, mm, I love this perfume so much, guys. Who else loves this perfume? When this came out, I was obsessed with it. And I've always been obsessed with this smell. I feel like Olympia is like the more bougie version of this. But this just smells amazing. I love it. If you've never smelled it before, guys, this is exactly the scent that I actually love. So he got me a Britney Spears fantasy as well. Next, let's move on to family gifts. So my sister, my mom, and my two brothers usually put money together to buy gifts. Um, so they bought me a couple of birthday gifts um, and it's kind of from my whole family. So these kind of gifts are not from specific people, but from my whole family. So the first thing they got me was a um, nighty from Primark, it's in a size XL, and it's just a little Disney nighty. Um, the reason my sister said, she was like, you don't want to be wearing pants when you're giving birth. So I've got you a nighty. I was like, cool, thanks. Um, not that I'm thinking of that right now, but she got me an IT, so, or they got me an IT collectively. They also got me um, some pyjamas from Primark as well, and I had these ones I spotted, and I was talking about them, and then they got them for my birthday, and they are the Friends Central Park, or Central Perk, sorry, um, gingerbread pyjamas, and they're super fleecy and super comfortable, and these are my Christmas pyjamas sorted, so they are in a size XL. I also bought a fleecy pair of pyjamas myself, which are in the at the moment so I can't show you them but they're the Harry Potter version they came in like a navy blue color but these ones are just super nice and they're so Christmassy they have little gingerbreads and candy canes on them um so I really really like these but they got me those for my birthday as well then they got me um so quite a few bits let me pull up my Christmas I'm um, not Christmas gift bag my birthday gift bag um they got me so first of all which I'll show you in a minute but they got me a Charlotte Tilbury package so girl my family was bougie this year. Um, they got me some Charlotte Tilbury bits, which I'm so, so, so grateful for. Um, so the first item they got me was Charlotte's Jewel Pot in Walk of No Shame. So this Jewel Pot is just absolutely beautiful. Um, first of all, the packaging, so gorgeous, so Christmassy. Um, but this Jewel Pot, I will show you what it looks like. The packaging is gorgeous, as is all of Charlotte's packaging, but that is what it looks like. And then we have the actual Jewel Pot itself. Um, that looks like this. See if you can see that colour. There we go. 
uh, but just beautiful and I will I use cream eyeshadow so often because I just think they're so easy to uh, chuck onto your eyes in the morning so they got me Charlotte's Dual Pop they also got me the Superstar Hollywood Highlighter Glow Highlighter again packaging is just everything with Charlotte um, and this is massive I didn't think it was going to be this big but look at it it's like as big as my hand um, and it looks something like this I thought this would be too dark but I have swatched it and it looks absolutely gorgeous on the skin so they got me Charlotte's Glow Superstar Highlighter as well then my family got me the Pillow Talk um, Lip Secrets gift set which has a full size Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk which I have two of and I'm nearly running out of both of them so a full size Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk it has a um, pillow talk reshape and resize liner a collagen lip bath and a Charlotte jewel lips in in pillow talk as well so absolutely gorgeous they also got guys I'm so grateful I'm so so grateful for all of these things honestly I really am they got me the Pillow Talk, um, what is this, Plumping Mascara, I think is that what it's called? Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes, sorry, and then Barbarella Brown Eyeliner. And last but not least, definitely, in terms of Charlotte Tilbury, they got me the Pillow Talk Palette of Pops um, eyeshadow palette. So I'll show you what this looks like. Let me just open it up. I love Charlotte Tilbury, guys. Honestly, if you know me, you know I love Charlotte Tilbury. So this is what the Pillow Talk Palette of Pops looks like. Absolutely gorgeous. And I'm so grateful. They got me the most wonderful, wonderful gifts this year. Honestly, they really did. So loads of Charlotte Tilbury goodies for me to have a play around with. Then um, they got me this. <laughs> So funny story, the reason that my sister got me this is because I was taking the make out of my husband because we last year bought our advent calendars really really late so it was like the end of November or like the 1st or 2nd of December and he paid for this on Amazon and he paid £8 for it and we know that you can get these from Poundland for a pound and he paid £8 thinking it's going to be this massive advent calendar and when it came it was one of these Poundland ones and I was absolutely howling with laughter so she got me uh, an advent calendar um, for Christmas. So buttons um we love Cadbury buttons some smarties orange smarties and then best of all oh she also got me some gloves which I'll see if I can find my gloves um when I'm rooting around the rest of the stuff but they got me these now you guys are gonna find this so weird but it's the quality street pink fudge because this is the one that I die after in the quality street at Christmas time. It's the pink fudge, so I always steal. There's always five in the box or in the tin, and I always steal the pink fudge. So they got me a massive bag of pink fudge, which I think is hilarious and also delicious as well. Um, my sister, mum and brothers also got me a phone case. So it just has my name on it. It says Hannah on there. It's kind of glittery as well. Um, and some gloves, which I'll show you if I can find them. Whew. Next, we'll move on to gifts from my gorgeous friends. So I'm not going to name every friend that give me had given me gifts because so many of them got me cards. Uh, one of my friends sent me some flowers to my house, which aren't here; they're in the kitchen. Um, one of my friends got me the travel size pillow talk uh, push up mascara. So I've chucked this one in my bag. Um, I've got some flips because these chocolate covered pretzels are everything i also got given um this 1000 piece sushi cat puzzle which is so funny and will be great to do as well and it actually looks like my cat so the first and the third one look like my cats anyway um, so that's super nice i got given a um oh let me get it out friends times makeup revolution um mirror so this is a full-size mirror and it's just super cool as well um, and then i got oh here are my gloves that my sister and my mum and my brothers got me so these are the gloves they're touch screen gloves um so you can use your phone with them and stuff but i really need a pair of gloves so they got me some gloves um, and then one of my friends got me this which i think is absolutely precious let me show you so it is a metal 
card I'm not going to kind of put it up too close to the camera but it's basically a piece of metal that has my baby scan picture on it um, of the baby that I currently have in my belly if you guys want to go see the things that I bought for myself, then please go and check out my Instagram, Hannah Hearts X. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I share all my beauty bits on Instagram and fashion bits on YouTube. And guys, thank you so much for being there um, and for your you know, amazing messages as well, congratulating me on my pregnancy and my ASOS haul. Um, so thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.